You're such an asshole! The Dark Knight of Advice Columns, the IKEA of Consultants, America's older brother, and the world's only professional asshole. Hi, I'm Aaron Cleary, and I'm from assholeconsulting.com. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Please be mine. I have always wanted to have an asshole just like you. But you're too nice of a guy, so you're a schmuck, not me. So let's go pay Aaron a lot of money. Yada da da dee doo dee doo dee. Give me your cash, give me your cash. Hey, look at that, that asshole. Hello, neighbor. All right, hi, Aaron. Uh, thanks for your last brilliant video about San Francisco. Well deserved and more. <clears throat> Here's a new question for you. Please provide a quote. This one is about women gushing, i.e. acting too excited, too happy, and too loud for no good reason when they greet a friend or just talk to friends. All right, there's a difference between the greet and the talk. I'll get to that. Um, I know you know what I mean because you often imitate that behavior. Oh my God, Tina! We are all aware you're just sitting there enjoying your cup of coffee and... <gasps> Uh, where is this coming from and what is the purpose of this exaggerated excitement? I realize that sometimes this gushing is nothing other than trying to overcompensate by appearing way too happy when you are in fact not so happy or downright miserable, but there's a more to this. All right, so I had, I had to call in my female friends and now keep in mind, these are not dumb girls. I do not surround myself with stupid people. These are very intelligent, classy gals and I've seen it happen. They do the same thing. Uh, and I, I happen to disagree with your premise, and, and I, that was my suspicion. I'm like, well, they, they actually are genuinely excited to see each other. It's not because they're miserable or anything. I think, and it could even be the opposite of what you're thinking, is that they are so miserable that they're happy to see someone that is a good friend. And I think it's just girls being girls, man. I, there's no, I, I kind of like it. Like, ah, oh, look at them being cute, doing the girl-like things. Ah, they'll never control the world. <laughs> no, uh, but in all seriousness, I, I don't think it's fake. Now, you can tell. Usually you can tell, and I'm, I'm ever so going to generalize, it's the fancier and the more dressed up they are and the more cougarish they look, or just the, the snootier they look, the better looking they are for their age and the, high, the, the faker clothes they wear. Like, if you're 56 and you got... Botox and plastic and you're wearing fancy clothes like you're still in fucking middle school That's a fake <gasps> Hi Tina like I'm going to kill you and slice your throat after I fuck your husband three times silent. That's That's where it's fake But the giggly happy typical oh my god, Amy, you know, Not that they're all jumping up and down together uh, But yeah, I've seen that happen. I know these girls all smart, all intelligent, all beautiful, uh, but also very based. Not leftist, and not dingbats, not ditzes, not fake. Um, so I, I don't think uh, whenever you see that, it's fake. Now, like I said before, there is a difference between the greeting or just talk to friends. Now, sometimes yeah, gals get a little drunk, and that's fine. Everybody gets a little drunk, and they get a little loud. Old Captain is, is known for that. Um... And then they become the cackling, heinous, loud, spine-shattering, overweight, cankling, 48-year-old, drunk, single woman. <clears throat> the, the greeting has already been established two, three, four, five, six hours ago. And now... Consciously or not, there I think there is a little bit more of a ulterior motive, or a, not even malicious. Malicious is a too strong of a word. A secondary ulterior reason they're being that loud is because they want you to know they're there. Guys do this to us at a restaurant one time. This guy just had to let everybody know in the world in that in that restaurant that he was a pilot. <clears throat> he had to let it multiple times. So this is not solely relegated to drunk women, but there is that stereotype where it's just a bunch of loud drunk broads, which again is fine if you're in a loud drunk bar. But the ones where they're shrieking laughing pierces the otherwise background noise of this level. You know, a loud bar is up here and everyone's drunk and loud. But when you're like, you know, you're at a, 
you know, a sit-down restaurant where there's food being served and there's booze also being served, but they just have no respect for the average background noise and tone of the noise level of the of the restaurant, and they're starting to interrupt other people's dinners. There's something there, uh, but I don't think you're talking about that. Um, that that I think is just, you know, it, it could be they they lack the social graces, and that's why they're fat and single. No guy wants like, whoa, okay. Uh, I think there's a little bit more like pay attention to me going on subconsciously, maybe not conscious because I think they're, and then a lot of, it, a lot of times look at that, they're just a bunch of drunk broads having a good old time and you know, maybe God bless them a little loud. But but you do know the time where it's like, so Tina, and she got her Emmy and you have all stuff. Amazing. When they use the word amazing, usually followed by friends, that they're the most amazing, amazing girl, amazing woman, amazing this. Amazing! It's like racism. Amazing no longer means anything anymore. Then that's where my the old antenna on the caposphere goes away. Hey, wait a minute. Ah, no, no. If that person was amazing, you know, like Chuck Yeager, or, uh, you know, uh, you may disagree with him, but, you know, Vladimir Putin's pretty amazing what he's done politically, and you know, KGB, uh, who else is amazing? Michael Jordan is amazing. Jimi Hendrix, even though I hate the type of music, was an amazing gu guitar. You hear of amazing people. Tina, your fat, bloated friend who just got her master's in public health administration, is not amazing, even though her cats are just the cutest things ever. Um, but yeah, no, I, <clears throat> I think it's legitimate what you're talking about in the majority here. Girls are excited to see each other. It's true. It's when they're not excited, like the fake. You know the difference. It's just like, oh, hi, Amy. It's so good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> then you you can suss that out. But when they're just absolutely, absolutely happy, yeah, you know what? Let them, let them be. Thank God. They get to, what, do you want guys to start acting like, oh, my God, Bobby, my God. Like, no, let them be girls. I like that. So, All right, that's it. You guys got questions, Captain's got answers over at assholeconsulting.com. Read my books. Check out my podcast, The Clary Podcast. Check out the blog, CaptainCapitalism.blogspot.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.